much. Wow. Oh, and you know, I love Milwaukee. I was the one that picked Milwaukee, I have to tell you. I was the one that picked it. These lying people that they say, oh, he doesn't like Milwaukee. I love Milwaukee. I said, you got to fix the crime. We all know that. You got to make sure the election's honest. But I'm the one that picked Milwaukee and uh, the Democrats or the radical left lunatics, as I call them. What they say is uh, just so terrible. They lie, lie, lie. They have a horrible candidate. They have a candidate that has no clue, doesn't know where he is, and all they can do is lie. I love it. I'm the one that picked Milwaukee officially. So, and you had, and I think you had about 10 congressmen in a meeting that we had recently where I said how much I like Milwaukee. They all came out. They said, that's what he said. We can't help it. And they're truthful people. But I just want to begin by saying, Hello, Wisconsin. Hello. Great state. I've had great, we've had great success here. It's great to be back in this beautiful state with thousands and thousands of proud, hardworking American patriots. What a crowd. What a crowd. With your help, five months from now, we're going to win Wisconsin. We're going to defeat your radical left Democrat senator, one of the worst. One of the worst in the Senate. Nobody even knows she's a senator. I mean, frankly, she's not doing a good job representing. We have somebody that's going to be great. So, but we're going to defeat your Senator Tammy Baldwin. We're going to, we're going to elect Eric Hovde of, of this area, by the way, who's a great gentleman and uh, spent a lot of time with him. He and his wife are incredible people. He's going to be a great representative. They're going to be great representatives of your state. But we're going to elect him to the U.S. Senate. We're going to evict weak, failed, and incompetent Joe Biden. He's an incompetent person from the White House. And quite simply, we are going to make America great again. Less than four years ago, our border was secure. Inflation was nowhere to be seen. The world was at peace. And America was strong and respected. We were respected all over the world. None of this stuff would have been happening that's happened now with Russia and Ukraine and the attack on Israel. None of it would have been happening. We would have had a, and we wouldn't have had a thing called inflation. That would have been nice too. But it was a, a different place four years ago, I think. But now we're going to make it better and bigger and stronger than ever before. But you had a president who put America first. I put America first. They don't put... They put America last. Under crooked Joe Biden, the world is in flames. Our border is overrun. Inflation is raging. Europe is in total chaos. The Middle East is exploding. Iran is emboldened. China is on the march. And the worst, most incompetent, most corrupt president in history is going to drag us into World War III. Other than that, he's doing quite a good job, don't you think? Quite good. Joe Biden is humiliating our country on the world stage. He's actually humiliating us. You saw what happened this this weekend. It's uh, turning the United States into a total joke all over the world. First, he wandered off the G7 in Europe. He, the stage, he looked like he didn't know where the hell he was, but he didn't know where he was. He's blaming it now on AI. He's saying... He doesn't know what AI is, but that's okay. Now they're saying the media is manipulating. Oh, he's saying the media is manipulating. Now, on that one, I have to stick up for the media, I have to tell you. He said the media is manipulating the pictures of him constantly not knowing where the hell he is. They're doing just the opposite. They're making him look better. At the G7 in Europe, and he had to be rescued by other world leaders. They had to pull him back. Then he bizarrely put his face on the Pope's forehead. What was that all about? That was weird. Vivek is here. That was weird, Vivek. I, I don't know. Did you see the Pope? The Pope is like, what's happening? The Pope uh, didn't really know what was happening. He said, this is strange. Then he froze during the celebration on the White House lawn. Then saying Obama had to grab him off the stage as though he were a child. I have to tell you, Obama could have handled that different, you know, differently. He could have done it a little bit softer. He could have done it like, let's go, let's go. He didn't have to grab him and pull him off the stage, but you know. 
but he looked good and uh i guess that was his primary purpose he could have done a better job in fact the uh the biden people were very upset about that whole incident but you know uh yet to be yet to be discussed but crooked joe and his handlers are insisting he's sharper than ever and they say the videos of crooked joe shuffling around are clean fakes you know what a clean fake is they're deceptively edited they say they're deceptively edited all of the mistakes that he's made every day he can't go anywhere without a mistake now if i'm perfect they say he made a mistake he did perfect and i don't say clean fakes although they do they, they do that they do that they're the fake news look how many you have out there they're all over the place But with me, they take a good speech and they make it look as bad as possible. With him, they take the worst speech you've ever heard and they try and make him look like semi-normal. These are shameless liars who are trying to deceive you about other people, the people that represent Biden. They're shameless liars. They're the Russia, Russia, Russia people, the laptop from hell people, the 51 intelligence agent people. They're the people that said, all sorts of lies about military, about our great military. They make up stories about our military. It's uh, disgraceful what they can do, and they're so destructive to our country. They're the people that really destroy everything that they touch. That's why this November, the people of Wisconsin are going to tell Crooked Joe Biden, remember The Apprentice, you're fired. Get out, you've done a horrible job. You've done a horrible, horrible job. Worst president in history, get out, you're fired, get out. We can't get him out fast enough. I'm worried about the next five months. We could end up in World War III with this person. He's the worst president ever. The Biden administration has been nonstop catastrophe. He has been a catastrophe. It's been a nonstop catastrophe, but one of Crooked Joe's most destructive moves yet is the lawless executive action he is taking today, you've been reading, in the middle of the largest border invasion in world history, there's never been a border in, in the world that's like this border that we have, where probably 17, 18 million people by now have entered our country illegally. Joe Biden's forming, granting mass, think of, he's going to formally grant a mass amnesty to millions of illegal aliens that came into our country. And you have people, you have people that have been working for 10 years to try and come in legally and they just keep working. Under this program, a deluge of illegals will be given immediate green cards and put on the fast track to rapid citizenship so, so they can vote. I think a lot of them are gonna vote for me, you wanna know the truth. Because if you look at the Hispanic population, if you look at the black population, they're voting for Trump. They're voting for Trump. You, you, look at you, you. Thank you. <laughs> I like that person right there. But they give them free, they give them welfare, they give them free health care, food stamps. Chain migration, chain migration, one of the catastrophic things one of the many catastrophic things that we're confronted with when they come in crooked joe is sending a message to the world that he rewards illegal entry and that's what's happening they hear about all of the things that are coming in and don't kid yourself the ones that are hurt the most the black population the hispanic population and you know what else who else is hurt badly unions because unions are not able to compete with this this is a mess entry into our country and the unions are getting absolutely killed by it. all an illegal alien has to do is sign up for his new program it's a sham marriage or college degree think of this and they can expect amnesty and taxpayer support they want to get taxpayer support we are supporting people that come in illegally but our soldiers our veterans are dying on the streets of these horribly run democrat cities our country is under invasion. We should not be talking amnesty. We should be talking about stopping the invasion instead. This is an invasion of our country.
We have to seal the border. We have to let people come into our country, but they have to come in legally. We have to send Joe Biden's illegal aliens back home where they belong. We have no choice. We have no choice. Don't forget, all over the world, the prisons, the jails, the mental institutions, the insane asylums, they're all being emptied out. And I don't blame them. I know the leaders. I know so many of the leaders. I had to deal with them. I dealt with them very nicely. I said, you don't behave. We're not going to give you any, any of the money. We pay them so much money and they do nothing. Get stolen all over the place. But I had a lot of things. We wanted to bring them back. They wouldn't let them come back. I was told that for years, Obama couldn't get anybody out. We suffered with MS-13 by the thousands and thousands that killed people, that cut up. Two young girls cut up in Long Island, cut up to pieces and died by MS-13 monsters, and we couldn't get them out of our country. And I came back and I said, why? They said, they won't take them back. Honduras, you take a look at Honduras, and any, any one of the, Mexico to a certain extent, Mexico a little bit less, but we have uh, countries all over South America, countries all over the world that wouldn't take them back. But in the case of the four countries, I said, here's what we do. El Salvador is an example, very tough, smart, good leader, but I would have been more advanced than him. I would have had the jails completely empty instead of almost empty. You know, if you take a look at Venezuela, you see what's happening there. 72% down in crime because they've taken their gangs, their drug dealers, also their prisoners. And where have they brought them? To the United States of America. Thank you very much. No, no. Who can believe that they uh, allow this to happen to our country? Send them back! 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 Now, who can believe that they would do this to our country? Now, Joe Biden doesn't have a clue. Now, we're going to watch. Is anybody going to watch the debate? He's going to be so pumped up. He's going to be pumped up. You know all that stuff that was missing about a month ago from the White House? What happened? Who, who left it? Somebody left it. They, I, I wonder, let's see, somebody left a laptop in a, an office of a gentleman who was supposed to fix the laptop from hell. He never picked it up. And somebody didn't pick up hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of cocaine. I wonder who that could have been. I don't know. Actually, I think it was Joe. <laughs> you want to but Crooked Joe's action today is an illegal, unconstitutional amnesty without approval from Congress. No approval from the courts or the American people, but he never does that. He did that with the uh, tuition, and that didn't work out too well. He got rebuked, and then he did it again. It's going to get rebuked again, even more so. It's an even more vile attack. But he did that with tuition just to get the publicity for the election. He doesn't care about that. He just wants to see if he can get it by the election. Like with all my stuff, they get these people from all over. Go, go after Trump. They never did this before. This is like third world country stuff. Go after Trump. But he did nothing wrong. That doesn't matter. Just go after him. Go after him. And we don't care what happens after the election. Just do it. Mess it up. No country has ever done this outside of a few third world horrible uh, banana republics, very rarely done. This Biden amnesty is a direct attack on American democracy. And yet another example is how Biden and his communists are demolishing our constitutional system and replacing it with a corrupt and fascist regime. These are fascists. These are bad people. And I don't think he's calling the shots. I'll be honest. I think he's not. I'm talking to you like a small little gathering of, you know, 20,000 people. But I don't think he's calling the shots. I really don't. You know, I'm, I'm almost, I almost sound, when I, when I talk about, you know, Alphonse Capone was indicted less than Trump. I'd never heard the word indictment. And then all of a sudden, all, that's coming from all different angles at me, all caused by Biden and his uh, thugs. But is that going to happen? You know, it's interesting because we're doing better now than we've ever done because people know it's a scam. It's a big scam. And the Biden betrayal is not going to stand. When I'm reelected, Joe Biden's illegal amnesty plan will be ripped up and thrown out on the very first day that we're back in office. Because he's just using that group. 
but he's going to let everybody come in because you know what they're trying to do? They're trying to sign these people up and register them. They're not citizens. They're not allowed to do it. It's illegal as hell. We're filing court cases all over the place, including here, but we're filing court. So what they're trying to do is they're trying to use all of these people that are pouring into our country to vote. What other reason? Look, it's either they're stupid. They're not stupid. He is, but they're not stupid. The people that surround him is his you know, leaders, his leaders aren't stupid. You can't cheat that while in an election and be stupid, okay? But, so you say they're either stupid or they hate our country, or the third thing is they want to sign people up to vote. And that's what they're doing right now. They're signing people up to vote. The people don't even know where they are. And they're getting them cards to vote. They're, they're trying to register them to vote. And we're in courts all over the place and we're going to get it stopped and we're not going to let what they did four years ago happened again. Our country is being destroyed. Joe Biden wants to be the president for illegal aliens, but I will be the president for law-abiding Americans, every background, every walk of life, every race, religion, color, and creed, I'll be the president. Crooked Joe's mass amnesty comes in the wake of a series of horrific murders by, I call them the Biden illegals. They come in here so illegally. They just walk across, not vetted, not checked. All over the world they're coming from. The Congo and Africa, 22 people coming out of jails recently. And where are you from, the Congo? Where did you live in a jail? What did you do? We don't want to say. But they come from Africa, from Asia. They come from the Middle East. They come from South America, but they come from all over the world. And they're really very, in many cases, very, very bad, very bad people. The only good thing is they make our gang members look like nice people by comparison. You know the good thing about Biden's administration, right? He makes Jimmy Carter look like a genius by comparison. Jimmy Carter's administration looked brilliant by comparison. In all fairness, he wasn't doing things like this. He wasn't allowing 17, 18 million people to walk into our country unchecked, unvetted. We have no idea who the hell they are. Day after day, week after week, more Americans are raped, kidnapped, and brutally killed at the hands of criminals. And Joe Biden released them into our country. He released them all. We had, by the way, four years ago, I wish they could put it up on the screen, we had the strongest border in the history of our country. Now we have the weakest border in the history of the world. In the history of the world. Oh, there it is. Take a look. That cost a little money to bring that sucker up here. You know, that's... But take a look at that. You see the red arrow on the bottom? That was the week I left office. What a sad day that was for the country. But that was the week I left office. See the red arrow on the bottom. That's the only one you have to even look at. That was the last week in office for Trump. Look at the number. That was the lowest number in the history of our country of illegals coming in. But you can also add drugs and other things, okay? But look at that number. And that was done by Border Patrol. Look at that number. And then look what happens as soon as I leave. Look at the numbers on the right. That's the largest influx of people ever to come to any country. There's never been anything like this. And we don't know where they come from, who they are. We don't have any records. There's no way to check it. You know, they come from some country that nobody ever heard of. They don't keep records and we don't get their records and we don't know what we're taking in. But you know one thing, you remember the snake. It's not gonna be good, right? It's not gonna be good. When you let in a snake, when you let in people that come out of prisons for murder, it's not gonna end well. We're gonna have a lot of problems and we're gonna get them out. We're gonna get them out as fast as we can. We're gonna have the largest deportation. We have no choice.